How's it going guys? Today we have a 2012 Dodge Ram 2500 and we're gonna make a key. Let's start. So first of all we're gonna to have to unlock the vehicle because the car is locked. So I'm gonna use a leashy tool and I'm gonna pick the lock open. Uh, I'm using leashy CY24 and it have uh, seven uh, positions from two to eight and the door have seven positions. Now, most 99% of the Chrysler Dodge and Jeep, you need to put the, the tension wrench counterclockwise in order to unlock it. So I'm gonna start by picking uh, the lock and I have some more videos of how to use the Lishi and showing in detail how to pick with Lishi tools. By the way, if you like my videos, please hit subscribe so you can see all of our daily videos. Thank you. As soon as I pick the lock, I can take down the leashy and we can open the door. Now we're going to program the key fob. So I'm going to use the Autel KM100. I'm going to connect the OBD under the steering column. Uh, I'm going to connect this one with a Bluetooth and uh, we're going to connect it to the auto machine. I'm going to put the key fob in the on position in order to read the VIN number and communicate with the vehicle. I'm going to go to immobilizer. I'm going to go to dodge. I'm going to do automatic selection and I'm going to hit OK. It showed me the year, make and model. I'm going to hit OK again and again. It just tell me to make sure the car is not running. So ignition is on and the engine is off. It gives me the password for a digit. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to go to hot function and I'm going to go to key learning and I'm going to start the procedure. It tells me to make sure the engine is off. We're going to hit OK. In current number of keys are two. It tells me, do you want to uh, read the pin code again? I said no. Do you want to learn the new key? I said yes. It's just about the reading, but it's time sensitive. So you need to read fast and just click the button uh, pretty quick. So it tells me that it's three keys in the memory, learning successful. Do you want to program another key? I said no. So at the end, it shows me there is three. out and test it. And it starts right up, nice and easy. Now I've picked the lock to the other side in order to read the depth. I'm going to put some tension and I'm checking those wafers and everyone's st every every position it stop on one number and I very gently push it one more depth. We're going to feel a spring that goes only one more depth. The depth that it goes down, it's going to be the depth, the number of the wafer. So if I go to six, this is one, uh, eight is a three. So that way I read all of them and I'm going to go and cut a key. I'm going to take the emergency blade out of the fob and I'm going to use my SEC E9 high security key machine. I'm going to attach it to the clamp and I'm going to go to the, uh, I'm taking the cuts and I'm going to go to the screen and I'm going to look for a blank Y159, which is the blank but it's the eight cut and I'm going to put input and I'm going to put the cuts that I just read one and then the three at the end. Yep. I'm going to hit cut and cut again. Now that's been cut. I can clean up the, the key and the clamp and we can test it in the car. Yeah. 
and it works smooth as, in, as butter. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please uh, put a like and subscribe and ask me any questions. Thank you.